Thanks for watching 8 News at 530. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips with Halloween quickly approaching. Longtime Channel 8 viewers are remembering the late night horror show Shock Theater. The wildly popular show was hosted by Bill Bowman, also known as the Bowman Body. 8 News reporter Nicole Dancer caught up with him today. She's live in the Digital Center with more. Nicole. Well, Eric Deanna, Bill Bowman's popularity reached far beyond state lines. Fans in the Richmond community and even in Washington, D.C. and North Carolina remember all the laughs and fun the Bowman body brought them. Now, many people relied on him for entertainment, but now his family is leaning on the community for support. These screams sent shockwaves around the Richmond area with the popular show Shock Theater. Every weekend when Channel 8 viewers would hear this theme music, they knew it was going to be a night full of laughs and fun. <laughs> Bill Bowman, a.k.a. The Bowman Body, hosted the late night horror movie show in the 70s. Hi there, horror movie fans. It was full of improv skits and lasted for six years before moving to another station. At the time, Bowman didn't know how much of an impact he made. I never dreamed that would happen. I don't think the station dreamed that would happen. <laughs> the Friday night show ratings beat out Johnny Carson's ratings, and fans from all over, including Washington, D.C. and North Carolina, raved about Bowman. But his favorite moments of all were the silly and unexpected skits on set. The basketball rolled across the floor past the camera operator. Camera operator thought we needed it, so he picked it up and threw it back at us. And I looked up, the ball was about a half inch from my nose which proceeded to hit me and knock me and the set. After a series of health problems, well, Bowman's yeah, wife, Octavia, died hand. in 2021. This time around, his family is asking for support to keep Bowman's health from Man, taking a bad turn. These days, Bowman still appears as a guest on the WHAP radio show, and he's still entertaining fans. In the Digital Center, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.